In this episode, we're gonna go into installing an overhead crane into an existing building structure. What's up guys, my name is Devin and welcome back to Cranes 101. We're gonna go into installing an overhead crane into an existing building structure. And that's important because depending on if you're specking out a brand new building or if you already have one, you just need an overhead crane to get installed into it. There's a lot of things to consider. So what I did is I brought back one of our sales engineers and we start by just talking about is it easier or faster to use a brand new building or an existing one? It is a little bit more difficult to install in an existing space as opposed to a new space. Uh, what you're dealing with in a existing structure is you're confined to overhead clearances, side clearances, where a new building structure is actually designed around the crane. So you don't have any obstructions on the floor. Everything is going to be based around all of the dimensions that the crane has. Now, as Chris and I got to talking, he told me that for some places, it's awesome to get your overhead crane built first. That way, everything else that comes to your building can utilize that and benefit from it as you construct the rest of your building. A lot of times people put the crane up first in order to use it to put up any other components. It's, it is a benefit because then you don't have a mobile crane on site or any other rental equipment that you're having to pay for. You already have the crane, you can use it, it's already been load tested, and it can be used to put all of the other stuff in as the building's being built. When you're putting an overhead crane into an existing structure, the one thing to consider is the production and the people that are actually working there every single day. In order to put the crane up, we need space to move around. And in order to do that, you may have to move work cells. You may need to move production equipment out of the way so that we can put the crane up. So in doing that, that'll hinder your production. Now, as Chris and I spoke, one of the main things he kept talking about is free and clear access. And that's important because if people can't get the crane into your building, you're not gonna get your overhead crane. We need to have access to the receiving dock where the crane is going to be delivered. Also, free and clear access to move the crane through the plant and then also in the area that it's being put up. What that does for us is allows our guys to move their equipment around so that they can put this crane up quickly and efficiently. Now, if you've never seen an overhead crane get installed into an existing building structure, it's actually amazing how they have to move everything, guide everything through the building, and then get it up into the air. And you'll have a low or an IC80, something to that effect. It's basically a boom lift that allows the installer to lift the crane off of the truck and then also set it into place. Also, there's equipment out there such as a tri-lift, which actually allows the installer to take that crane, set it on a platform, and then it lifts it up in between the runway girders, turns it, and sets it on the runway. Other things we'll have are scissor lifts, so that the electricians can get up to the crane panel once it's set in place, do any wiring, also allows them to do all the testing that they need to do for the turnover. Now, depending on your company, you might require anybody that comes onto your job site to go through some kind of training. It might be a video, it might be a hands-on tutorial, it really just depends. And the installers are subjected to that as well. If they need training before they can walk into your building and they don't know that ahead of time, you're gonna run into a lot of lead time problems. What we try to do is get that information up front. So if we know up front when we're quoting the job that our guys are gonna need specific site safety training, we'll have that built into the job, but also be able to send our guys in to do that training well before the install is gonna take place. That way, there's no delay in the process. Now I figure that if you're buying an overhead crane and you already have a facility, you're gonna save quite a bit of money. But the one thing I wanted to ask Chris about is, depending on the age of your structure, what considerations are needed to look at before you put an overhead crane into it? So we'll take measurements of the existing runway. That way we can run numbers behind the scenes, make sure that the runway can support the crane. Also, they'll go around taking measurements of any equipment that are in the area so that we can take all that into consideration when designing and quoting the crane. And what if it can't support the weight? If we have the ability to drop an intermediate column in between each support, we can do that. 
in order to support the runway on closer centers, which will allow us to look at the design and determine whether that may do the work. Otherwise, we may have to consider a full new runway system. Now let's say everything goes well and you're able to get your brand new overhead crane into your building. How do you test it? We can provide test weights with the installation number. That way, everything is taken care of and it's completely turnkey. Otherwise, we've been to places that already have something we can use to lift. And that could be as easy as a man lift or a forklift, depending on the weight and the capacity of the crane. One of the last questions I asked Chris was about quality. Is there any difference in quality in putting a brand new overhead crane into an existing structure or a brand new one? There really isn't much of a quality disparity because a crane's designed to do what it needs to do. It has its duty cycle and it's designed. The only thing we really need to take into account is the envelope and space that we have to put the crane in and also do the work. Hopefully, we are able to give you a better understanding of what it's like to install an overhead crane into an existing building structure. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the content that we make in the future. If you're still struggling to figure out exactly what kind of overhead crane you need, we've got a ton of resources available for you. You can check out our Cranes eBook, you can check out the different playlists that we have on YouTube. We have a ton of content that we've developed just for you to make sure that you buy exactly what you need to buy and you don't waste your money on something that you can't use. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to one of our lifting specialists. They're happy to help you however they can. Thank you for watching.